Hey guys, Pete Ramsey here, HVAC Greatness. Hope you have a good day. Uh, let's want to reach out to you and talk about a couple of things. Um, this is a vastly op- overlooked topic and doesn't matter if you are getting ready to start your business or if you're small in business or if you are established and sizable in business, most business owners miss this. And this is essentially um, the right person for the right job. Now, what do I mean by that? If you're a technician right now and you're thinking about starting your business, maybe you should not. <laughs> maybe you should, maybe maybe your situation is that you're in a work environment that is not allowing you to uh, to be fulfilled, to, to, to arrive at the level that you you know, that you're looking to achieve. And if that's the case, it might be a situation where you need to speak with your employer and and make some arrangements or find another job. Or it may be that you are right for your own business and that you need to step out and do that, right? And there's ways of telling this. Now, if you're a business owner and you're dealing with that constant struggle of employees, there's people out there, and they're, they're, they're getting fewer and fewer, that carry the experience that you need, right, to fill that role of, say, service technician. But should they be in that role? Yeah, they're good with machines, but, you know, we're in retail sales. If you're doing residential, AOR, you know, like commercial as well, you're pretty much in the people business. And so unless you have one person that deals with the customer and one person that deals with the machine, which might be cost prohibitive (laughs) to do, you really need to find somebody that's aptitude naturally is, uh, uh, fits both of those aspects. So this is somebody that generally carries uh, a good communication skill set, generally a positive perspective on the scenario and is very competent in what they do, or at least has the aptitude, the, the, the mechanical and technical aptitude to do their job and the rest can be uh, supplemented with training. So what we're seeing is there's a a transition that's incurring here in the industry, and uh, some have already figured it out, most have not, and uh, it's it's quite simply this. We've gotta find the right personality for the right role. But even beyond that, we've gotta find the right personality for for your culture. They need to fit in your business. They need to think like you do. They need to share your values. They need to share your vision and hopefully your mission. But you can't do that if you don't have a vision, if you don't have a mission. That's what vision statements and mission statements are about. And for most people, that's this thing I write up and I stick on the wall. But one that's properly done is something that you utilize on a regular basis. It's part of your training. It's something you look at every day. And if it's, if it, if you change you need to make sure that it changes. But for the most part, there are certain key characteristics that it includes that uh, it's just, that's just who you are. And if you haven't gone through that exercise, reach out to me and I'll, I'll share with you uh, some insights on that. But in doing that, and I, I know I'm, I'm losing people right now because this is a little airy fairy, but you gotta do this. This is what comes together for those, those businesses, and you know them, they're in your area. They've been around a while. Everybody wants to do business with that company. And maybe you're, maybe you're frustrated. Maybe you're thinking, well, well, you know, we do better work or as good a work, right? I can save them money, but they, why don't they go with us? Why do they want that other company? They're willing to pay $1,000 more or $2,000 more or more. Quite honestly, it's because of you. It is because of you. Now, it's not that you're not a good person. It's not that you're not a good business for them to do business with. It's that you're poor at communicating who you are, what you stand for, and what your business is truly about. When you learn to do this, when you learn to do this right, this will literally change the way you're branded. It may change your color schemes, the name of your company, the slogan, the logo, and certainly everything that goes behind that in terms of values and, and, and mission and, and vision and things of this nature, right? You know, what is your why? Why do you do this? Oh, Pete, you know, you know why I do it. I've, I'm trying to, you know, feed my family. Well, yeah, that's that's part of the reason. But why HVAC? You could, you could feed your family 
with a host of different businesses. Why heating and air conditioning? What is it about that that when you think about it, you get passionate about it. You go, no, we are the absolute best at this or because of that. What might that be for you? Some things to think about. Now, listen, when you are hiring, I put this out to a group the other day. I got crickets chirping on this. Here's a tip. Well, how do I know the right personality, Pete? You know, these people are coming in. What am I looking for in a, in a personality? And I'll give you one. And this one's big. This is a person who leads with attitude. They don't, they're not waiting. They don't walk into a situation and look at other people and, and, and allow them to inter interpret the situation, they come in with their own interpretation and it's usually positive. And it's important to have a person that's naturally positive. They naturally see the positive sides because they're going to interact with people who are seeing the negative side. They're, they're, their system's down, potentially. They've got a problem and they're, 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 they're a little negative. Can you imagine a nice, positive personality coming in that's competent in what they do? And the customer throws all this negativity at them, and, the, and, and, and your technician just smiles and says, don't worry, we got that. We see this every day. We know exactly what to do. You know how reassuring that is? Or your customer says, that's way too much money. I'm not spending that. And the technician says, no, I know a lot of people think that. Let me explain to you why we charge what we charge. And you train them to do that. The person, this is called a frame, a frame of mind, a frame of uh, of state, the person with the strongest frame when two people come together will win. So you have to start with a re relatively strong frame and it's through training and role playing and being a leader to your culture that you develop the rest. If you want a rock and roll company, you got to do better than the technical side. You have to understand the people side. We call this the HVAC X factor. It's that thing, yeah, I just can't put my finger on it, but that company is better. Those technicians are just more professional. There's something about them. I'm, I'm going with that company. That's the X factor. But guess what? You have the S factor too. You have the X factor as well. You just need, how, need to learn how to draw that out, create a company culture, and establish ahead of time who we are as an organization, and then your team, bring them on board. It may take a little bit. People don't like change. And then from them forward, you only hire certain characteristics of a personality, as well as their technical aptitude, clearly. You want all that experience. But let me tell you something. How many of us have hired somebody? They brought all that negativity and baggage over from the other company, polluted your waters, ended up quitting, and possibly another employee quits with them because they got tainted as well. Bad apple spoils the whole batch. You know, it's, it, it, you know, negativity just kind of spreads that way. And so what we need to do is be more intelligent in our hiring decision, be more intelligent in our decisions for ourselves. Should I be an owner? Or should I just find a really good role with a really good company where I can flourish in my profession. I love the uh, the technician side, or I love the IAQ side, or I love installing. You know, I'm, a, I'm the best maintenance tech that, you know, is, is graced these lands, and I'm gonna be, you know, if that's who you are, you owe it to yourself to find a company who will nurture that and help, help you grow at that, because everybody wins. And likewise, if you're a business owner, you want to find the right people for the right role. And there are personality tests that can dial into that farther. But I'll just give you a tidbit right there. You need somebody with people skills and you need somebody that leads and they decide for themselves that this is okay, this is good. In spite of what everybody else thinks, I know this is good. I see this every day. I'm a professional. And that's contagious too. That's the point. Pete Ramsey here, HVAC Fitness and the X Factor. Hope to see you on the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.